I want to shed light on a few things. Where is the company going right now? The CEO even said it when he took over, five-year plan. Right. He was doing a five-year plan. And we're right. already four years into that. Yeah. Sports Arrest and uh, Pan America is starting next year in Taiwan. But then again, your Harley Davidson should be made in the USA. Where the f is the Bronx at? Guys like me. I'm excited for this, man. We haven't done this in a while. I know, it's been a while. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video. We're here with the coolest white guy no, Jerry, Jerry. Uh, we, we, we haven't done this in a little while. I feel like every time we sit down here, it's like, yeah, we haven't done this in a while. It's been a... Before Laconia. Huh? That was, was it before Laconia? Yeah. Because you still went to homecoming. Now, man. Yeah. Because I was away and then you were in homecoming. Well, you, you're a busy man. You're always on vacation. And nah, I'm not always. Yeah, I but yeah. How, how was Laconia, by the way? I didn't go to Laconia. Not Laconia. Uh, Lake George? You went to Lake George. Yeah, for Medicaid. Medicaid. Yeah, it was, it was down from last year. Hmm. But, you know, it's it's a different variety of bikes or whatever. Like I, I did like 13 demos. Demoed a lot of stuff. Nice. Yeah. Well, um... What I wanted to touch base on today is where is the company going right now? And is it going in the right direction? Right? Um, and I, I want to shed light on a few things. So let's talk about demographic right now. Um, do we feel like they're targeting the demographic that they should be targeting right now? with the bikes that are currently out at the moment? Harley Davidson you're talking about. Harley Davidson. Yeah. Harley fucking Davidson. So as far as tar, I mean. Well, you know what, before you answer that question. Hmm. Well, right on point. <clears throat> who do you think the core demographic is? And B, who are they trying to target your core demographic is guys like me what do you mean 50s okay. late 40s 50s that's their demographic 60s even their core 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 their core core I agree you guys are on the fringe of that because you're in your late 30s or whatever but they're trying to target people in their 20s but that's a hard sell especially with I mean Kids today, like I mean, I mean, kids, younger adults today, even like at work, everybody's with electric bikes, electric scooters. So a guy today with an electric scooter goes forty miles an hour. <laughs> Things like like this, it's it looks like a skateboard with a T handle, and he says it goes forty miles an hour. Well, the, the, those things are pretty cheap, and for people to commute, it's like yeah, that's, that's what, what the guy like. said. You know, and is, then he was is that, like, is that the reason why? Yeah, he said he was using it for commuting. And he was telling another bus driver, and the bus driver goes between the bus and that. He goes, and he goes, yeah, but I don't want people making fun of me or whatever. And he goes, making fun of what? That they you have a, they have a car payment and you don't. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> he goes, it makes sense. Um, I mean, that's that's what the younger to me. That's what the younger generation is going for. Yes, there is like kid, you know, like my nephew's twenty one. He wants a bike, but he can't afford it. He can't afford it. He can't afford now, it. Now, now he can afford it. Like you're talking about, like a Harley Davidson can't afford anything like that like his like five grand's rough for him right now because he's in college i mean right now you could say that it's a it's a rough time for everybody right now it's a yeah. pretty tough economy you could say mm -hmm. um but i and i totally agree with you 100 percent because uh their their hardcore demographic right now is 40s 50s 60s right mm -hmm. um who they're trying to target is Obviously, people in the 20s and 30s, yep. and they're trying to bring the, the that type of clientele over to the the company, that younger demographic. Which makes um, sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got that loyal, hardcore customer like like yourself in that mm -hmm. age group. Mm -hmm. um, do you think the company's regular is really prioritizing that customer right now and kind of forgetting about the younger customer? Because I think they are. 
I mean, with the with the introduction of the new road glide and street glide, I think they focused more on what the customer wanted. Yeah. What people asked for because they gave us pretty much everything we've been asking for for yes. years. Not that it's necessarily better, but we all think it's better. But you know, there's certain downsides to that too because mm -hmm. I've had both, and I kind of wish I would have stayed with my old bike. <laughs> you know. Um, I feel like they're really targeting that older demographic still, and they're still well, okay. That's where all the money is. Right. So, and that's what we're trying to get at. Thirty thousand dollar bike. They don't want to sell a five thousand dollar bike. No, they're they want to sell a forty or fifty thousand dollar bike. Exactly. So I, I and 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 that's that's my question to you. It, do you think they're prioritizing the older rider who has more money at the moment? Absolutely. Rather than trying to bring in a younger clientele with a cheaper price point. Yep. Right. What I think they're doing is that they're they're obviously and it's I mean it's in the paint. They're focusing on uh, limited. Limited production, production bikes, higher High price dollar. point. They sell less units, make more money. Make more money, right? Do, do you feel like that is the right move right now? Or should they be offering a cheaper, more cheaper alternatives to get more people into it? Somebody like me or somebody like you is not going to go buy the $5,000 entry bike. Right. But perfect example, you want a commuter bike or you want somebody to get in, my Triumph Scrambler is $5,500. Which is, and that's the reason why you bought that bike. Yes, for the 50, because it's $5,500 and I was going to use it to commute, so I don't care because I've destroyed my other bikes by taking them to work and everything. And a lot of stuff, you know, I noticed a lot of damage on my more expensive bikes. But that, they sold 50,000 of those bikes since the beginning of the year. 50,000 bikes. Worldwide or in the U.S.? I'm not sure, but I know that's, that's the number. Fifty thousand of the fifty-five hundred forty-nine ninety-five, the four hundreds. So if Harley did that, just to get you'd have fifty thousand riders in. Now you got fifty thousand riders riding Triumphs. Yeah. So when they go back, are they going to go? They're going to go look at Harley. They're going to go back to Triumph and yeah, say, that's a Triumph oh. for the most part." Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how much are you gonna give me for this trade-in? Oh, well, you pay fifty-five, we'll give you thirty-five or whatever or something, which is like almost half your money, but still, it's not half of fifty thousand dollars. Right. So, so for you, you're like, ah, I lose a couple grand. I bring the bike back to them. They get me into the next size up, or I could go all the way up to like a, a rocket or something like that. There's there's stages, and I'm not saying Harley needs to do ten bikes like that. No, just do two models. Two models. So I'm gonna ask you that question again. Do you think that they're going in the right direction? Their no. their main focus right now with that? No, no, not at all. Or so you think that they should be targeting a demographic where they should be trying to bring more people in at a cheaper price point to yes. keep them in the company yes. long term. Yes. Because if you're if, like I, I'm, I'm thinking honestly right now the the way the meta the way from my outsider looking in the mentality looks like it's. Like, hey, this is the next plan for the next two or three years. And they're not planning for the next 15 or 20 years. Exactly. I, to, that, that's what I think. To I me, know. it looks that's like... the way it seems. It looks like, and I think the CEO even said it, you're, when he took over, five-year plan. They're, right. They're, he was doing a five-year plan. And right. we're already four years into that. And, I, I don't, and I don't think we're in... Right. And right, it, I think it should have been a 20-year plan. Oh, yeah. I think it should have been a 20 year. Uh, uh, His thing was to raise stock up and that's it. And five, five years ago like this, man. Oh, yeah. Right? So in five years, okay. Yeah, what, what do we have now? We have some awesome, nice, expensive bikes. Yeah. Right? But we, we did get rid of a lot of the cheap entry-level bikes. Yes, we have the Nightster. But the Nightster is like, what, like 12 grand, you could say? Which is not cheap. That's not cheap. Because before, an A83 was 9,000. When you no. bought it, when I started riding, an 883 was thirty nine ninety five. Yeah, and when when I bought my 83, it was like uh, eighty six hundred or maybe nine thousand yeah, dollars out the door. When, something when, like that. When I first started riding, they were thirty nine ninety five. I paid five grand for mine because I bought mine in ninety two, but my buddy bought one in eighty six. And the thing was back then, thirty nine ninety five. Ride the bike for a year, trade it in, you'll get thirty nine ninety five back towards Same another as what bike. You paid, yeah. Which, I think which, they did that with your... Yeah, your, when, when, when I bought mine, I, I got the same thing back as I paid, which, which was great. Yeah. That, that was a great deal because look at me. I had the bike for a year. And you moved up. And I said, you know what? <clears throat> this bike, I want more than this. I want something bigger, more, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And I was already in 
the Harley family, you could say. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I'm going to get myself another Harley. You know, yeah. I'm not going to go buy a Triumph. I'm not going to go buy yeah. a India. I'm not going to go buy this. Like, I'm already here. I like what I have, but I want more. Yeah. You know? And there's next levels. There's soft tails. There's baggers. And what, what do I get to my lowrider? Yeah. I got a rope light. Exactly. So, I kept... And I, I mean, you know, I'm not back, back down, down to the lowrider seat, but I'm still with Harley because that's, that's what I like. But for uh, 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 another person who's not... A hardcore Harley guy, like I, I would consider us like real hardcore, like mm -hmm. we're Harley guys, you know. But for the person who's are really deep, uh, deep into it like that, they'll be like, all right, well, you know what? No, well, I'm gonna, some, I'm gonna get something else. I'm gonna get another brand, you know. Yeah. Well, I got another brand, but you know, it, 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 it's, it's not that I won't buy another Harley Davidson. It's just that right now I don't feel the need to have what I had. Yeah. I mean, you're you're in a different, pretty different yeah. one. On talk about that right now but no. um but i don't know like i i, I feel like the, that five-year plan five years already up it's up almost. it's up and 2025 it's up right so what what what's the next focus right now you know which is all right so where 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 do we take the company for the next five or ten years and it's like all right well now that demographic from five years ago that was 20 years old is now 25, 25. Or 25 and another 30, mm -hmm. and maybe they didn't get into Harley back then. They got to another brand. Yeah. So now, how are you going to get those guys off, who, who maybe were new riders, how are you going to get those guys out of another brand back into this company? Right? Uh, that's a hard sell. Right? That's hard. So it, I think it's harder to get someone from another company to jump ship rather than to get someone fresh who's like, oh, well, I'm looking. I'm young. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get, I want to get an entry level bike. Where do I get into, you know? Um, I'll give you a perfect example, a few, a few cool bikes. And and don't get me wrong, they're doing a lot of cool stuff right now that are, you know, maybe people are not liking them. Like, for example, the Nicester. The Nicester is, is a nice-looking bike. Not but, for but, but the Nicester, it's, it's, to me, is a little pricier, you know? Like, it's not it's, it's still not an entry-level price. No. Right? It, it might be an entry-level bike, but it's not an entry-level bike priced correctly. Well, they're at twelve nine five or whatever, something like that. So you're twelve plus your prep and your freight, and you add this on, and some deal always add other stuff on. You're like, and next thing you're like fifteen grand. Or... When I'm seeing them used for eighty five hundred dollars. Yeah. So, I mean, there, there, there's also a used market, but I mean, some people don't want the used market. Some no. People want new. Well, that's... Some, some people want the the Harley Davidson experience, buying new, and but they need something cheap to get into it. Yeah, I mean, I could, like you said, like even with the Triumph, like I said, it was fifty five hundred. But then by the time out the door, it's like six and change or whatever. But you're still, you know, you, people like that. Like you, the Triumph has the four hundreds. KTM has the R, the three nineties. They even have smaller, but the three nineties, like the one, the Ninja four hundred. You know, like I'm, 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 I'm gonna stop you right there. What? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something that you and I have said here plenty of times in the garage. Where the fuck is the Bronx at? Because you're mentioning all these bikes, yeah. and it's like that's a cool bike right now. That's very sporty. It's not a cru it's not your typical cruiser, yeah. but it's, it was a Harley Davidson. Yeah, it was very sporty. It was a, a nice naked bike, bike yeah. that that everyone looked at at first and like, what the hell is this? Because it was like, what is that, that's a, a Harley? I think it, the problem was it was supposed to be around ten grand. Yeah, or under, or just under like nine something, and they didn't want to put it out because they didn't want to sell it for that. Yeah, well, you can't sell it for fifteen grand. That bike would have been the bike to bring all bought. these people into Harley. I'm talking about people from yeah. Ninja, mm -hmm. people from who ride CBRs, mm -hmm. Suzuki, Yamaha, Yamaha, Triumph, everybody. That 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 would have been the bike right there, man. Because it was sporty, it was cool, it was different. It it was what the hell is this? Is that's a Harley? What? Yeah. It, you know, don't get me wrong, the Pan America is cool, but the Pan America is not going to attract mm. a young crowd. No. The Pan America attracts a 40, 50 year old man. Yeah. Be it is what it is. Guys, yeah. You know, that, 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 that's what, you know, so a smaller Pan America. They should have came out with a smaller Pan America. They, they can't make it for cheaper. They, they can. They, they came out with the Pan America a few years ago, and then the Pan America was totally forgotten about. Well, Where's the promotion for the Pan America now? That there, there's no promotion, and they should have followed up with something smaller, edgier. All right, you, you know, cheaper. What about the Pan? What, if, what about the Pan America that we saw? The ones we saw out in Milwaukee last year. They stripped them down and made them race bikes. Put race tires on them. Yeah. Got rid of the. the they still had the 
the thing on the front, but like no, a no windshield. Yeah, like, a, like, a, like a flat truck. It was like a hooligan bike, yeah. like kind of like the FTR. And that they How many FTRs them. is in India selling? They're selling them, but they're not, I mean, they're not like It's not crazy, because I mean, that FTR is pretty pricey. Yeah, like, it's not like know? the Scout. The Scouts, the, see like Harley's biggest seller is the Road Glide and Street Glide. Yeah. The baggers. The bread and butter. Indian's biggest seller is the Scout. The Scout. And they embrace that. An entry level bike. Yeah. You know? And the Scout starts, uh, the Scout has very, uh, many variations. It starts off very yeah, it's cheap. Like five and, or six different variations. Yeah, and it goes up to a one on one now, which is yeah. almost like 18 grand, you know? But. Yeah, but the but, first one starts at 12, I think. Maybe cheaper. Oh, no, the 60 is even less. I think yeah. it's like 10. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's, you know. Um, I don't know. I just think that like, the Bronx would have been great. You know, a different, like a flat track type of bike would have been great. You're, you already have, you're already working with a base. You already got the Sports R S, yep. the Neister, uh, mm -hmm. and the Pan America. You got that subframe where you could work around that and, and give an, uh, uh, an entry level bike at a good price point. I'm not saying, hey, make a bike for five grand. It's not going to happen. No. It's not. But, but the, I mean, not the companies are doing it. Dude, nine grand or something yeah. to match up what, what the sports used to be. And I know now, you know, inflation, it's a few years down the line, things are pricier. Yes, it's hard to get that much for your buck, but I think it could be done. They could take the nine, as far as I know, the 975 and 1250 can be, the RevMax can be made down to a 500. Yeah. From what I understand, from what I, that I've heard. So you make that a 500, you sell it for five, six grand. Okay, so you don't go, you know, 5,500 or 4,900 or like the KTM or like the, the Triumph, you go maybe a thousand more because it's Harley Davidson or whatever because you got the name. So I'm not saying it's right, but you could probably get it. So somebody goes in and says, oh, it's a little 500. It makes like 50 horsepower or whatever. And I can do, you know, 95, 100 on it. And I can start off on that. My wife can go on it. And then, but don't make it like the sports the rest where you have forward controls and things like this. Make it like where it's like kind of like the Nightster, but more a little more pulled back or a little lower and then have the mid pegs yeah. and make it more like, like you said, like, um, like a flat tracker or, or something like that. I think, I, I think that that'll do really cool, man. Right? I mean, that'll sell. They're, they're starting, you know, Harley came out and said that they're making, uh, Nightsters, Nightster S, Sports the Rest and uh, Pan America is starting next year in Taiwan. Or in 2025. Yeah. And that they, 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 that they, was. That was, that was a legit, they announced it, yeah. that they were moving everything to 2025 because the union well, in Milwaukee was complaining that they're losing work. Uh, apparently it's like, it's only for a year, but it doesn't make sense to move a whole. Well, they're saying because that's where they sell them. They don't really sell them here. And if the dealers want them here, you can order them, but I don't. I mean, I don't know what that's going to cost. I mean, from a business point, if if they're selling everything to the to the Asian market, you could say, right? Yeah. Or European. Market. I mean, it does make sense to make them over there, but then again, your Harley Davidson should be made in the USA. Yeah, I mean, but then they license the ones to China and to the 440s. The smaller bikes, yeah. Yeah, the, four, the, 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 the those were just for the Asian market. They, they weren't for the American market. But even if they brought something like that here, or a RevMax with a 500 to get that those people in, 50,000 Triumphs, 400s, 50,000 of them. That could be 50,000 Harleys. Now you got 50,000 more customers. And I've seen them in person. I think mine's a great bike for the money. I think it's a fantastic bike. Yeah, I mean, you know, I could do 90 miles an hour, 95 miles an hour. I get 60, 60 get, uh, miles to gallon. Mm. I mean, is it, can I go cross country on it? Like, no, no but, but. but for, for example, for you, you, you want a commuter bike. You want a yeah. commuter bike that is going to get dirty. You don't care about it. You want it to be uh, fuel yeah, efficient. Yeah, I do like, a, I do like 180, 200 miles a week commuting. Yeah. Oh, well. Um, I don't know. Well, so what do you think? You, you, I mean, I, th this goes back to my question again. Do you, do you think they're on track and on route with, with, with the proper steps or you think they should be heading in a different direction? I think I also heard that they're going to discontinue the ultras, the the Road Glide Ultra and the, the I mean the Ultra uh, Road Glide Limited and the Ultra Limited. Well, I, I I see that happening. Well, because you see all the packages, you saw all the packages that they're making more money with that, with the seats and the no, no, but, backs and. But but it's not that. It's that you have a Road Glide and a Street Glide that are brand new, but you have a limited. Well, they could redesign it. Well, but well, that's what they're going to do probably. No, I heard it's going completely away. Mm. 
You're just gonna have one model, and you buy packages. One road ladder, one street ladder. And if you want to eliminate, yeah, because then you that. eliminate, then you eliminate six models, just by having that. This one this year, they eliminated three models between the ST, that, and the special. Mm. They condensed it because they're trying to condense. Right now, they have 24 models, 24 bikes. Not well, not 24 bikes this year. If you go on the website, it's 24. Mm -hmm. Between the trikes and and the and the, the sportsters and the uh, there's like seven or eight of the bigger the bikes like the yeah. you know the road kings and stuff like that so they're trying to condense it down and make less models which is a cost-effective move or whatever i mean they, they they cut up a bunch of models in the past few years already yeah they did cut a lot a lot used to yeah you know road king special gone no road king not road uh, king special. no the road king special road king special still there no yeah the road king Roking, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, the specials, uh, Ro Road Glide and Street Glide specials. Yeah. Road Glide, Street Glide STs. The Fat Bob now. Fat Bob. Um, slim. The Slim, yeah, I forgot about, I totally forgot about the Slim. The uh, Deluxe. Uh -huh. What else? Um, a few. The Sport Glide. You I mean, you had to have that yeah. in Europe and down in Australia, yeah. but. So like 10 models at least. In the past few three years, yeah. Yeah. I've heard of like 10 models. Um, I mean, it, I mean that's fine. Downsize to what really makes sense and what, 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 what's really selling. Because, I mean, if it's not selling, it's not selling. It is yeah. what it is, you know? But I just think they, they really got to sit down now and plan out for the next 10 years and figure out a way. How can we get a younger demographic to come into the company and obviously grow? Stay with the company and grow within the company. Because that, that's what's going to make the company money. Yeah. Not selling just, yeah, you can sell expensive bikes all day. But what's really going to make you money long term is going to be getting younger customers in and keeping them happy to stay long term. Yeah. Plus, like you said, the, the entry level bike, your entry level bike was a Sportster. Mm -hmm. My first new bike was a Sportster. I had used Big Twins, but my first new one was a Sportster because that's what I could afford at the time. Right. You know, I started on a used one, then I wanted a new one because I wanted the upgrades or whatever. I wanted one from an 88 to a, a, a 88, 83 to a 92, 88, 83, which I bought out to a 1200. And I did stuff to that. Then I went to a you know used big twin, then I went to a new big twin. But same thing, kept going back to the dealer. You know, a lot of the bikes I bought from the dealers, my Harleys, and a lot of the other bikes I bought used from people. But, you know, it, you have to get these people in and get them going. So like if my, if my nephew, he would, for five grand, he'd go in and get a Harley and ride it around and then like decides he wants, you know, he gets out of college and gets a real good job and, you know, decides he wants to buy a bigger bike or whatever. That's how it works. Yeah. Same thing for you or whatever. It, you have to get these people up and, and getting them to, to push them to a 15 or a 20 or $30,000 bike ain't going to work. Yeah, it's know? tough. That's tough. I mean, you know, there, there's, there, there's a market for what they're pushing right now. Right now, but there's people are a, aging out yeah, too. There, there, there's a huge market right now for people in their 40s, 50s, 30s, who have good jobs. They got the money to spend it. The market is there. I'm not gonna say, hey, it's right. not. It's, no, it's there. It's there. They're selling them. But I, I think their, their focus should be long term. Long term. Yeah, long term. They have definitely got to be more conscious of the long term and not so and like I said you don't have to put five models out like they did with the Sportsters or the Rev Mac just put one just one this is the bike you know could be the Bronx man could be the Bronx so even if they made a smaller Bronx I'd probably buy if they made like a five six hundred Bronx I'd probably buy. I love the Bronx I do too I wanted I the Bronx it. I really I wanted that that bike. or the one they had the concept one the um What's it called? It was like the one, the Cafe Racer. Oh, the Cafe Racer yeah, bike. That, that, that looks too. awesome. Yeah. I kind of prefer the mono shock on the, the Bronx, but the Cafe Racer with the dual shocks, I would have bought that. I would have definitely bought that. Yeah. Hmm. We'll see. What are your thoughts in your comments down below, guys? Do you, do you guys feel like the company's heading in the right direction? Do you like this five-year plan, which is basically already up? Or do you agree with us? Do you think they should be focusing on a younger demographic, keeping them in, and thinking long-term? Um, do you think they should be having more models, cheaper models? Or do you think they should be shrinking what they got already? You want them to get rid of 10 more bikes? 
I'm really eager to know what you guys think. Anything on your end, sir? I think that's it. Like I said, I mean, I, I would get rid of a few more models, downsize it, and then, like I said... Give me three models you get rid of right now. The Ultras. You're an Ultra fan. And I'm an Ultra fan, but I, I think like, I would get rid of those too. Um, probably the Freewheeler, and maybe one of the... So I'd probably get rid of the Standard. The standard yeah. soft tail, yeah. Because for a grand or two more, you might as well buy a street boat. Hmm. Because you get blacked out, you get this thing. I mean, the standard. Who's really buying standards? I don't see any dealers carry standards. I've seen them, but I I don't see them out on the wild. Not compared to street bobs. No, 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 I I don't see them at all on the street, like at all. No, I haven't seen anybody. Yeah, it's hard to see them. Hmm. I haven't seen them in such a while. Uh, throttle blip. Throttle blip. Yeah. Shout out, to, the, shout out to throttle blip, man. Yeah. He's the only one I know that has one. Yeah. I have never seen anybody else with them. Everybody else I know is Street Bob. Well, the guys we ride, some of the guys we ride with Street Bob. Well, uh, I'm thinking maybe next. I, I think since they did everything to the baggers, I think maybe the soft tail lineup might be might be getting like a. I think it should be a refresh. Something. Yeah. Well, somebody's you know. saying 2025 refresh on, sh which would be nice. 117 and stuff, you know. Who knows? Maybe a little liquid cooling like the other bikes. Yeah, might be stuff like that. What I would like heads. to see, what I would like to see from Harley is a nice gauge like the Indian has, or like the Sportster S has with navigation in it. On what? On these bikes. Sportster S has that. On these bikes. Oh, okay, okay. No, yeah. Yeah, little ride cool. modes. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like your bike with the, that gauge. The Sportster S gauge on a soft tail. Yeah, with ride modes. Yeah. I think so. That would be cool. Yeah. That would be a good update without going crazy. Yeah, and then cool. maybe they could do the liquid cooling on the side. Like the cool heads. Yeah, with the radiator. Analog. Yeah. Who knows? I'd like to see that. Yeah, that'd be cool, man. Because it's, it's 40, like Blackhead was saying, it's 40 degrees cooler. Yeah. That's a big it's, thing. It's definitely a lot cooler. Yeah, you lot definitely cooler. feel it. You definitely that, feel it. That's the one thing I do feel between my old bike and my new bike. Is, you know, even though I had all the power and everything, is the coolness. Yeah. Like, you don't get that. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's going to be it. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed today's discussion. We're going to be having more stuff like this going forward. So if you like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> share it. Hit that bell button. If you're not yet subscribed, then subscribe. Does it cost you anything? It's free to like and it's free to comment and subscribe. So, yeah. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Peace.